This is a very special pro bike check today. This is Danny Max Santa Cruz trials bike. Okay, so let's start with the frame and the forks. This is a one-off. So Santa Cruz actually started their own carbon lab in the factory in Santa Cruz, California, just for testing parts, building things like eyelets for rims. They decided they needed a bigger project and this is their first bike. And this is the most expensive bike that Santa Cruz have ever made. So full carbon fiber frame and fork built in California. So this bike is built exactly to Danny Mac's spec. So using the geometry that he's been refining for the last few years, on his previous aluminium bike, he had that bike down to a very light weight, but this is actually a kilo and a half lighter than that. Full carbon fiber, carbon all over actually. We've got these Santa Cruz reserve wheels. Again, these are custom. Obviously those reserve wheels come in 27 and a half and 29, but this bike has got 24 inch wheels. So a one-off pair of wheels for this bike. So it's interesting to see that this is a bike that takes a huge amount of abuse. I'm sure we've all seen the Danny Mac videos, but a lot of carbon fibre for a bike like this. Frame, fork and rim. 24-inch Continental Air King tyres on here. Again, it's something else that Danny Mac has helped develop. And he likes to run them super hard, so anywhere between 50 and 60 PSI. It's a super clean looking bike. We've got two brakes in it, obviously it's single speed, but even the brake hoses are actually rooted nice and internally inside the frame. Also, the front brake goes down through the steerer tube and pops out the fork right by that caliper. So great for doing any spinning tricks where bars are spinning. Uh, it just gives you that ability to do it without wrapping up that front brake cable. Super clean back end to it, sort of no dropouts on this bike. You've just got that bolt through and you've got that chain tensioner just mounted underneath the chain stay to make sure that chain doesn't come off. We've got an inspired bash ring on those trubative descendant cranks and Danny Mac's signature crank brother stamp flat pedals. So we've got some inspired components on this bike, the handlebars and that seat and post. But actually, let's take a close look at that. It's absolutely slammed. It almost looks like it's glued into that frame. So there's no seat clamp at all on this bike. A couple more signature parts. Danny Mac's got these lizard skin grips, but also these Magura MT7 brakes with these huge 203mm rotors on those tiny wheels. The brakes are absolutely incredible on this bike. If you take a close look at how this caliper is actually mounted to the back of this frame, from where I'm sat here, it's absolutely invisible. You can't see any bolts. Again, it's a really nice touch to make this bike look super custom. You can see the carbon fiber weave just on that Santa Cruz logo where it hasn't been painted. And there's actually there's a new logo on the front of this bike that I don't recognize. We've got a Cane Creek headset with carbon spacers and Hope Hubs. Here we are with the man himself, Danny, your bike. Very cool. Uh, how many of these bikes are there in existence? Uh, I actually have uh, two in my own possession, and I think actually I just saw Santa Cruz have built another one to have on their display, so there will be three altogether. Um, but they're they're not going to ever go into production, unfortunately. Um, yeah, it's kind of too expensive to make, and I don't know how much the frame set would have to sell for, but uh, yeah. It's very cool to have your own bike, no one else got it. It's... Although I've got to admit, I did jump on the bike, do a little lap around here before, so is that allowed? Am I allowed to ride your bike? Of course, yeah. I mean, that's. I mean, you're not going to do anything I wouldn't do to it. So yeah, of course, it's there to be ridden. Um, Says it's extremely cool to have my own custom-made Santa Cruz trials. I mean, it's kind of like a. It still seems like a bit of a dream, to be honest. Like, um, especially with the carbon reserve rims, forks as well. It's just kind of like. It's kind of like the kind of bike you'd have on your bedroom wall when you're like 14 years old, thinking it was like so unobtainable. But it's actually my own now, so. So you're absolutely right. I came onto your setup here and I thought, oh, what can I ride? Uh, I can't ride any of this. Um, but sure do you... Have the trailer, I'm sure you'd be able to. No, I'm not, no. You're on the mountain bike, maybe, but... It's a super light bike. It's yeah. a kilo and a half lighter than your last bike. Do you notice that when you ride it? Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, um, in the beginning, uh, the front end is so light. Like, the, for the forks only weigh 600 grams. Um, actually, it was a bit... There's almost nothing to sort of counterbalance against, but you soon get used to it. You know, the, um, the geometry is similar to stuff I've been riding for the last couple of years. Um, it's kind of numbers that I've been working towards. I'm not, I've not got any uh, suspension or things that I'm trying to make work differently. So it's more about the balance points and the wheels are kind of where I like them. Um, and the bottom bracket handlebars are all kind of roughly set up how I like them. Yeah. Delight with it. You do realise you've got one of the coolest bike brands in the world building you a one-off custom bike. 
where do you go from here? In you know, 10 years time, you can't be ever riding around like a Walmart bike now. Well, yeah, as you said it just right there, it's like what it's always to me been the coolest brand and uh, I don't know, I think we can maybe get a bit sort of fancy with some of the paint jobs in the future. I've kind of got a few ideas. I mean, this one's kind of um, a bit more traditional, but it kind of really stands out, it kind of pops with the films, but in the future I'd like to kind of come up with some new stuff and yeah, hopefully we can refine this so we lose even more weight and you know, I need, I need to lose the weight so as I age I can keep ahead of the young guns coming up. That's why I actually need a carbon trials bike, right. you know. I like your style. Maybe an e-bike next. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, maybe an e-bike or just one that looks good for CGI. Maybe that'd be easier. I can just I can just do it on the computer instead of actually having to put the work in. So, <laughs> right, nice one. Cheers, Danny. Uh, if you want to see how Continental tires are made, click up there for a video. Give a thumbs up if you like Danny Max video. Uh, his bike, in fact, not the video. And don't forget to hit that button to subscribe.